It's been a while, but I'm back. A lot has happened since I was last here. My plants have grown bigger, and this cute little creature, Zoe, is now in my life. I moved up in my career as a designer, and I officially said I do, and it stuck with this guy forever. So let's chat. But of course, I need to make coffee first. So let me reintroduce myself. Hi, it's me, Hebe, and I'm a person out here living life, I guess. Uh, I occasionally make YouTube videos, and by occasionally, I mean three years ago. During that time, three years ago, I made a couple videos regarding UX design because I uh, recently, at the time, just transitioned into UX design and I wanted to share my career journey, what I've learned, what I've experienced with people here on YouTube. Um, but a lot has changed since then. It has been three years. I'm excited to create and share my little world here on YouTube with you all again. Um, making a YouTube video has always been on my mind. I think for a bit, it will be an itch that I'll always want to scratch. So let's start trying again. Just like how make video has been on my to-do list forever, um, cleaning these uh, cabinets in the office as well as some of these storage here has been on my to-do list since forever. So today I'm gonna tackle everything and try to reorganize it all. I'm gonna make a video and clean this out at the same time. My plan is to, well, you can't see me, huh? There we go. Hi. So my plan is to um, tackle one door at a time. One thing I realized about making videos is that I really have to start small. Um, when I was making YouTube videos three years ago, the projects that I was, or the videos I was making were way too big and took way too long. I had a video called A Week in the Life of a UX Designer. It took me a whole week to filmed the video and I think it was also really in depth about like every little thing that I did during the week so that one took a really long time and it also took me forever to edit and it's one of those things where like the more you look at it the more it became like not fun <laughs> like at the end of it I was like oh everything sucks I hate everything that I just made so yeah and then I was just kind of pushing through to get it done well, I've taken out everything on this top drawer and I think I might have a change of mind because the drawers are in way worse condition than I remember. I think I might just have to like take out everything and then put them in like a toss out pile and keep pile and then figure out how to reorganize it because um, I think over time every single drawer is now a miscellaneous somewhat of a hodgepodge of a drawer. Yeah. So this bottom drawer actually has, a, it's one of my favorite drawers, it has a lot of like postcards like this one. This is from Cafe Amsterdam and it's actually like a used postcard. Every time I travel, I've always collected these things thinking that maybe one day I'll like do something with it. But uh, as you can see, I just end up putting all of these things in this drawer. Um, and haven't done anything with it yet. I always have these like train tickets and um, pat, like uh, museum tickets 
thinking that I'll probably make some sort of scrapbook or something like that but I just never got around to it and always kind of now is just stuff in the store um, similarly I actually have a lot of footage um, from, from when I'm like traveling like I've tried vlogging multiple times um, I have a lot of videos from my honeymoon I've been always wanting to vlog so I actually try to capture a lot of things but I never got around editing them because I actually just it's just a lot of footage and so it's like very overwhelming so like for this video I'm very intentional about like starting small um, so I don't overwhelm myself being a lot more intentional about what I actually film by like planning ahead so hopefully like when I go edit it it doesn't overwhelm me like the most important thing is obviously like taking baby steps so maybe for these um, postcards and whatnot oh, I will I will get to it and I will make a scrapbook or something if I go ahead and organize it first This is the trash pile. It got bigger. This is like old journal agenda pile. This is useful thing, camera-ish things here. Um, this pile right here is like still kind of like mementos, postcards, um, handwritten cards. So this one is probably still gonna go in the bottom drawer right here. And then this is adult information file, adulting kind of stuff. This is like more electronic -y things here. Um, oh, and this is my camera case. I'm gonna put that with a camera pile. I like to put the camera stuff together and not in here because usually when I need my camera stuff, I want it to be all in one place. Yeah. All right, um, it doesn't look like it, but everything is grouped now. All I have to do is actually just put it in the drawers. Probably wipe it down first and then put it in the drawer. Sometimes I feel like my inner critic prevents me from going forward. The thought of, this isn't good enough, or this is actually horrible. Maybe this is happening at this very moment as I'm editing this video. But why would it be super great if I haven't practiced filming and editing? It's a dumb expectation to have. I shouldn't compare myself to others who are way better or strive for perfection in a way that's inhibiting me to try. I should just be proud of the fact that I did it. If there's something that you've been wanting to do and have been putting off, I hope my journey reminds you to start somewhere. Why not start small and have fun? See it as a practice. And like me, if you gave up on something that you've tried but still has the itch for it, then, as they say, it's never too late to start and it's definitely never too late to start trying again. Well, bye for now.